What is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I, it's been a long time coming. Um, usually I do a video like this like every six months or so. So this one's a little bit delayed. Um, the setup videos are really, really popular on this channel. And I just figured I'd do one like every six months or so for you guys. So this one is actually going to be a little bit late than the typical six months, but it's been two years in the making. So this is going to be my fourth video that we've done for the setup in this room. So a lot has changed. The setup used to be over in this corner here and now it's over here. Um, I have floating monitors now, uh, 50 inch 4K curved TV. It's really awesome. So let's go ahead and show, show off the room a little bit for you guys and see what you think. By the way, the links for everything product wise is gonna be in the descriptions down below. So make sure you check those out. Um, it helps support the channel. I don't buy anything unless I have enough money from the kickback from that to buy new things for the channel. So if you guys wanna check out those and check out some of my other videos, also follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you wanna see pictures and updates to the channel. Uh, that'll be right up here in this on this poster here. I'll put a link or two right there for you guys. Uh, make sure you go follow me over there. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the setup. So as you guys can see, this is well, we'll start out over here on this corner. This is where the bed used to be, or not the bed, but the uh, desk. This is where the desk setup used to be. If you guys know my most popular setup video, it has over 650,000 views, is when the setup was over here. It was actually um, really convenient to have it over there, but at the same time, it was kind of inconvenient because the sun from the window would be glaring in my eyes while I'm trying to play games. So come on, focus. Let's go, there you go. All right, so I ordered this bed from my work and I had they, they gave me the option of setting it up and or them setting it up and I was like, nah, let me do it because I have to install some pretty crazy lights underneath. So as you can see, we have RGB lighting underneath the bed. Go over here, we have, uh, so cool story. I pre-ordered the two terabyte Xbox One S from Amazon and they sent me two in a box. <laughs> so I got two for the price of one. That was actually a really cool deal. So that one's gonna be set up in the living room. I have another one over here that's gonna be set up. Uh, th this one's just gonna be basically for media. Uh, maybe the occasional gameplay, who knows. But uh, here is my slider that I ordered. It's kind of a cheap Amazon basic slider. Um, I've only used it once in one of my videos. I haven't used it since. Um, then we've got the Manfrotto, I can't remember the model name of it or anything. Um, maybe it has it on here. The 290 XLA or X Extra or whatever it's called. 290 Extra. It's got the uh, fluid head on it. I mean, it's really nice for taking those st slow still shots. I use that daily to do videos for you guys. Um, obviously, we have my M16 AR, or, or as civilians would call it. Um, I was in the military. The AR-15. So. Uh, I call it M16. I have it on an M16 platform. So anyways, <coughs> excuse me guys, I have a cold. Uh, my light boxes, not too much going on there. Just the light boxes. We have the soundproof foam all the way around the setup here. We also have a green screen up above. Now I'm moving from left to right here. So we're going to move from left to right. Here's the new Xbox One S, two terabyte edition. We've got also got a two terabyte external hard drive as well. And then uh, let's see, we've got the Xbox One S controller and the Xbox One Elite controller. As you guys can see, the RGB lighting is going behind the desk right now. That is also in the link in the description below. That's one of my biggest uh, questions on these videos is where do, I, where do you get those? And also the desk, everything, like I said, everything is gonna be in the descriptions down below. So I don't have to go through everything. So let's go ahead and check out the chair. So this chair is almost pushing two years old now. And let's take a closer look. I mean, it's not really worn out at all. It's, I paid 90 bucks for it. Like I said, this will be in the link as well. Um, it's been an awesome chair. I, I, I don't really go for the whole, uh, whatever you call it, uh, racing chairs, GT Omega and stuff like that, DX racers. I don't really like that stuff. So let's get that out of the way. All right, so moving on to the peripherals. We have a Corsair Strafe RGB keyboard. I put my own custom white keycaps on it. Um, like I said, guys, every little detail is in the description below. Um, 
I got a weird question on my last video. I live in an apartment. The carpet is not in the description. However, the trash can is. So <laughs> if you guys want that trash can, go ahead and check the links down below. You'll, you'll get a little bit of a kick out of it. Um, so the peripherals, then we have the Logitech G502 on a Rocketfish gaming and control mouse pad. Then we have the extended uh, PC Master Race or glorious PC Master Race uh, mouse pad, extended mat. Now, a lot of people, these are the only wires that are visible on my PC, on my setup, are these three wires right here. One for my Logitech C920 and one for the keyboard and one for the mouse, right back there. So those are the only cables that are visible because I did not want to drill a hole through the bottom of my desk right here because I have drawers underneath. So I would have had to route everything through the drawers and everything. I don't want to do that. I'm going to be ordering a new desk soon in the future. And also I'm, the desk is going to have to get bigger guys because not only do we have the 50 inch curved 4K Samsung, but just get a good angle of that. But I do plan on doing three 34 inch ultra wide 1440p monitors right here. So I'm going to have to have a bigger desk for that. Um, moving on to the desks. Let's go. This one is a 55 inch Mic desk by Ikea. This is the 47 inch. Now they've recently dropped this desk. So it's no longer available. They replaced this drawer side here with uh, kind of like a cubby hole type thing. And it's, I guess it's worked out. I mean, it looks a little bit more clean and whatnot. Um, if you guys watch my videos, you'll notice that the computer is now over here. It's no longer on that. And there's a reason why, because I like to see how all my stuff is working. Like if the fans are spinning up, what's going on? So uh, let's just get a little zoom back shot of everything. It actually, I, I love, just imagine yourself sitting here. It's really awesome. Um, like I said, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Also guys, please, please, please share this video around um, social media, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you want to do. Share it around so that we can, we can let people know how to build setups like this. Uh, this is my second setup that I've build, built and uh, it's worked out really, really well. So next up we have the Amazon Echo. This is my go-to device when I want to listen to music and whatnot. And yes, I do have a custom skin, uh, white D brands, carbon fiber. And, uh, this is my go-to device, my daily driver. This is a Sony Xperia Z5 premium. Uh, it's the world's first 4k screen. It's actually, let's go ahead and turn it on here. It's actually really cool guys. So I like it so far, but anyways, guys, as you can see the Asus logo in the background, I'm a huge Asus fan. Um, I have a lot of parts from Asus. Let's just put it that way. I'm not sponsored. I'm trying to be, but, uh, going on with the peripherals. Now we have, we recently switched to the Audio Technica AT 2035 XLR microphone instead of the AT 2020. And before that we had the blue Yeti. So as you can see, a lot of things have upgraded. I have it on a newer, uh, white boom arm, white and black and my custom mount right here. Now look at the cable management back here, guys. Look at the cable management. That is just crazy. That's insane. Excellent cable management. So anyways, guys, last but not least, let's go ahead and move into, oh, uh, let's go through the headsets. Uh, the headset right here is the Corsair H2100. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's been a while since I've reviewed that or said anything about it. 7.1 gaming surround sound. I use it for watching videos and movies, so not too much going on there. I don't use it very much anymore. Uh, what I do use though is the Audio Technica AT, ATX M50H or whatever you want to call it, ATH M50Xs. Those headphones are freaking amazing. I have them hooked up to my um, Xbox One Elite controller and oh man, <laughs> you, gaming headsets are not meant for gaming. Uh, these headsets bring out all the sound. Let me tell you, that is awesome. So that's, and then I have my Turtle Beach X07s down here, which I'm probably gonna be busy selling those pretty soon, who knows. Um, now moving on to the computer, last but not least, look at that computer guys. Oh, we got the Scarlett Solo, uh, or the Scarlett 2i2 back there interface for the Audio-Technica AT2035. Um, 
Guys, if you like gaming videos, go check out my gaming channel. I recently switched the names. Uh, the gaming channel, it used to be called Frosted Tech. Now it's Frosted Gaming. It has a little over 200 subscribers. Uh, we're going to try to boost that up a little bit. There's going to be a lot of streams coming out on that channel soon. So let's go ahead and go through the computer. The case, also in the link in the descriptions down below. The case is an NZXT H630W. The W means windowed. Uh, the windowed version is really, really hard to find. Um, I think it's only available on Newegg in the white and you can find it pretty prominently in the black. So we have a total of 11 fans in the case. Let's see if you can count them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So there's 11 fans in the case. Anyways, uh, going on with the performance and the parts and everything. So we have a Z170 platform. This is an Asus uh, Z170 series motherboard. We have the Corsair, or not the Corsair, uh, the, yeah, the Corsair H60 liquid cooler for the CPU. And the CPU is an Intel i7-6700K Skylake. It's overclocked to 4.8 gigahertz right now. I'm gonna upgrade the cooling on that soon. This is gonna be all custom water looped pretty soon once the 1080 Ti's drop. So this is how often I switch the, the setup around here because every time something new and big comes out, I usually have it. So if you guys wanna see it, come check out the channel. Um, moving on to the graphics cards. Oh, for the RAM, we have uh, four sticks of, okay, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 3000 megahertz Corsair Dominator Platinum. That's a mouthful. Moving on to the graphics cards, two EVGA GeForce GTX 980 Ti for the win editions running at 1490, 1490 megahertz a piece. And then for the power supply, we have the NZXT Hale, Hale 90. I believe it's a 1200 watt. I could be wrong. Maybe it's a 1600. I believe it's a 1200 though. Um, and then we've got a bunch of Corsair uh, cus custom ring fans. They come in like red, white, and blue, I think. Um, now for the drives, we have my old trusty HD uh, Corsair, not Corsair, why do I keep saying Corsair? Western Digital, two terabyte caviar black. And then we have a Samsung 850 Pro, or 850 Evo, sorry. We have an 850 Evo, 500 gigabyte, that's for my boot drive. And then we have two more solid states behind the motherboard tray that run in RAID 0 for game storage and things like that. I don't know if you guys saw that, that was kind of weird. My camera just kind of glitched out a little bit. But anyways, so that's going to pretty much do it for the setup, guys. If you enjoy these types of videos, let me know in the comments down below. So let's get one more pan of the setup here. Look at that. It is an absolute glory playing on this every single day. Every single day I turn this on and it is freaking awesome. It gives me chills. So anyways, guys, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. By the way, check out some of the videos on the end of this video. I'm gonna leave them in uh, links on the end of the video. So make sure you guys check those out and uh, wait one second while I flip my screen right here. Um, let me know what you guys think. And like I said, share it around. Let's get the word out. Um, if you guys have a friend that might benefit from seeing some of these parts or whatever may work, I guess, uh, and something that they've wanted or something that you've wanted, check the list down below because everything's in there, even all the way down to the lighting kit, everything. So anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you guys in the next one. Stay frosty.